Yo guys, what's going on? This is Shadow CUP, and today we are doing another episode of Tips and Tricks. This is episode three. Today we're here with the gaming savior. And um, yeah, today we're doing the bow. So the first thing that I'll be showing you how to do with a bow is um, just shooting it normally. So come here. Here, just stand there, just chill there. So basically, there's obviously three tiers. There's, you can tell by the color of my bow. There's green, red, uh, ye green, yellow, and red. Um, red does the most. I'm pretty sure it does two hearts. I am very laggy, and I'm also in creative, slash so G mode zero. So gamer, this is what I need you to do. Whenever I hit you with the bow shot, I need you to tell me how much it does, okay? So I'm gonna hit you with this. How much did that do? That was a green shot. I'm gonna wait on the reply. Half a heart. All right, so then we're gonna do yellow. How much does yellow do? One, and then fully charged is two. Okay, so that's how you know what everything is. So that's why when people do bow spam and they're just like this the entire time, it doesn't work out too well for them because it doesn't really work. This is the proper way to bow spam would be get it to yellow, and then as soon as it gets to yellow, fire it, and then you get more time to aim and pull back at the same time. And by doing this, it's still doing a harder damage, and it's working out pretty well. So, yeah, now we're going to fight using just basically only a bow. Alrighty, guys, now we are going to fight using a bow. Only a bow. So we're going to get some shots off. There's one. He is up there now. Wow. All right. So we both can't shoot a bow right now. So let's uh, let's wait for him to move. And then when he's there, and then... Oh, man, I predicted the move right there. And then we got him cornered, and then we can do one shots. And then we can also bow lock him down from there. And basically, you guys can see, he has a ton of arrows in him. And then he dies. So, yeah. Bowing is massive help, and it works out pretty good. GG. GG, bro. GG. All right, so now we're going to go on to the next thing, which is bow lock. All right, you guys, we are back for bow locking. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to we, we're gonna shoot Savior, and then he's going to run in one direction. So just keep running that way. And basically what bow locking is, is if a person runs in straight direction, you can always get the same hit on them. And if you just time it right, it'll be perfect. So just always aim in front, and yeah, it works out pretty good. So now another thing that we're going to do is you can TP to me, Mr. Gamer Elite. So... The next thing we're going to do is um, strafing. We're going to do it right now. So basically, you know how you do this, do this, do that. So yeah, if you do that with a bow, you can always predict it because if he's doing one, he's always he's always going to do the other way the next time. So if he's doing that, he's going to turn that way, and then he's going to go that way, and then I can't shoot a bow, and then he's in my body. So yeah, it works out pretty good, and now we're going to fight. Alrighty, guys, we are going to fight now. Basically, when you shoot a bow and strafe, it works out beautifully. So let's wait for him to shoot a bow shot, and then pick where he's going to go so he's going to stay in one direction and that's going to make it easy to bow lock him so yeah see how he's doing that and then when he stops you can shoot him and then since he's still strafing in one direction it makes it a lot easier to hit him and it works out pretty well and then when he starts going the other way you can see he'll switch every time and it'll work out pretty well for you so yeah it works out nice Alrighty, guys we are back so this time we're going to be doing some fishing rod combos so basically save your run at me like you're going to attack me like use your sword and everything like run at me be like rah so basically you can turn around Hit him with a fishing rod, and you'll be able to get away and pull a nice bow shot on him. It'll do a couple damage, but honestly, if you're running away, it's a pretty good tactic. Because if he hits you, it's not doing much. And, oh, he's cornering me in a wall. Stop it! Ah! All right, let's fishing rod him back. Fishing rod him back again. I missed. <laughs> let's fish it. Wait, ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, God. So, fishing rod to the bow, and you get a fully charged bow shot. That's what you need to do. I know what I'm doing. So, fishing rod, bow. So say I'm on, say I'm low right now. Say I'm on like two hearts. You get a fishing rod, you're able to bow him. And that was awful on my part right there. But yeah, you guys can see basically how the strategy works. It only works when you're low. Because, I mean, honestly, if I was at full hearts, I would just rush in with the sword. But it still works out pretty well, no matter what. So yeah, now we're going to fight using that. Alrighty, guys, we're going to do the fight now. So basically, I'm not going to touch my sword. I'm only going to use my fishing rod and bow right here. So I'm going to get some fishing rod backs if I can hit him. So get some fishing rod backs, and then you're able to get a fully charged bow shot off, even though I missed it. But, oh, get out of here. Get out of here, you. All right. I did use my sword once, but still. So, boom. Get double. It works really good if you get two hits, because then it's, like, assured that he's not going to hit you. But you can still do it with one, like how I just did it right there. But, yeah, I'd like to do two. Like, one. One. Two. Or, I missed that time. Oh, that was an awful bow shot. One. Two. Fully charged bow in his face. One two boom i missed though but yeah you guys could get the point 
you it's it just helps out a lot when you're on the run. And obviously you also won't be in a confined area like our little arena that we made like two seconds before this thing actually started. But yeah. It still works. I promise you that, even though I can't do it. Alrighty guys, we are back. This time we're gonna do a uh, flint and steel combo. So save your run at me like you're gonna kill me. Run at me like you're gonna kill me. So we're, we're gonna use what we learned from flint and steel. And then he's gonna be on fire. So now if you're running, he's gonna be slower. And you're gonna be able to get more bow shots off on him. It works out pretty good. So if we get on fire, he's gonna be slower because flint and steels make you slower. You can't run as fast. And then you can get more bow shots on him because he's easier to predict. So yeah, it works out pretty good. And it works out because yeah, he dies. Woo! Alrighty guys, we are back. This time we're going to be doing the bow combo. I'm, or, I'm going to put my fishing rod away. I'm basically going to use the bow like a fishing rod. So if you don't have a fishing rod yet, save your come at me like you're going to fight me. You can use it as a knockback tool because you can hit someone with it and they get knocked back and then you can still get combos like you would with a fishing rod. So if I hit him back, it's still a knockback tool and yeah, he'll still die. So it works out pretty well. Hi, Savior. Hi. My keyboard just took a dump. I was there. We were trying to record. This is the second time we're trying to record this because we were going to fight for our final battle and my keyboard just didn't let me move. But we're good now, I think. Hopefully. 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 I, I hope so. so. So what did you learn today? I learned about with the whole bow thing, you know, you can use it as a tool for knocking back people. And the whole thing with the strafing, you know where people would go. Oh, my Lord. Jake, I did that. You know where I'm going. All yeah. Right, so, yeah. Are you, are you ready? I will be in just a quite second. Why? Do you need to slap this is feel a, like me? This is no, this is a quite second. I am ready now. Alright, are we ready? Three. I am ready two, for love. One, let's go. Alright, so Think. we're gonna bow him. Boom. Oh my god. Predictions. Predictions. Alright, I'm gonna combo you right here. Combo you. Oh that knockback tool. Oh my god. Why is my thing not working? Come here. Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy. Ah! I tried to use a knockback tool, but it didn't really work right there. Oh! Fight me! That packs! Right now! Those bow shots! Oh! oh. <laughs> you got hit in the corner! <laughs> Predict ah. where he is! No, I'm dead! I'm He's dead! He's only one way! There you ah. go. Predictions. I had three and a half. Predictions. Predictions. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tips and Tricks. Also, our beautiful arena. This arena looks beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a spin because this arena is so gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Look at this arena. It's it's slime proof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so that many slimes like on each corner. Oh my god. Slimes for days. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of PV Tips and Tricks. Savior's channel will be in the description. He's a beautiful man. Look at him. That's a beautiful man. So yeah. Wait, hope hold on. What? Hold on. Um, just just a second. You know, continue with your. Uh... I'm gonna continue with my thing too. I'm gonna be continuing with my stuff because I wanted to do that. Hello. How do I get your head as a hat? Slash head space shadow boss 13. Ha! He doesn't know how to world edit. I'm cooler than him. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.